Hi guys, so welcome to this week's video. This week's video is going to be a few school hacks. So, a lot of you guys may have started back up at school, maybe in first year of college or first year of uni, and these hacks should help you get through a couple of the years or even a couple of weeks. <clears throat> so I found it hard in pretty much most of my school year I was behind until I got to college. And then I started racing ahead and things, and then I fell behind again, and then I started racing. So I was sort of, how do you put it? I was sort of up and down, up and down, up and down. Like this. So these are going to be some hacks to help you get through college, primary school, intermediate, uni. You know, I've been through primary school. I've uh, sorry, I've been through kindergarten, primary school, pri uh, intermediate college and uni. I'm going back for my second year of uni in July. School hacks! Number one. First day of school, you're nervous as anything. Like, you are super, super, super nervous. You don't know who's going to be in your class. You don't know if your friends are going to the school. For all you know, you could be in a school with no one you know. Basically, this was me about five years ago, five or six years ago, probably a little bit longer. I went to a school that I knew no one. None of my primary school friends went here. Um, none of my primary school friends went here. So it was it was pretty nerve wracking. I only knew a few people there, but they weren't my friends. They were just people I knew. So adults call them acquaintances, whereas probably school kids will call them people I know. Good one. Anyway, it was basically year one intermediate, so year seven. A little tip is if you're wearing clothes and shoes, you wiggle your toes and you wiggle your toes and what that will do is that will calm your nerves i find it works for me it doesn't work for everyone but it works for me number two is about cell phones yeah cell phones i hate to say it but 90 it's raining again 90 to 100 percent of kids all ages now will have at least a smartphone none of this flip phone no they will go ballistic if you give them a, a flip phone but they will have a phone 90 percent of them probably will have iphones i don't even know how because iphones are so damn expensive all you need to do if you're like me you always have your phone on loud Basically, if you don't want to silence your phone, all you need to do is find an old pair of headphones, which I don't have. If I did, I'd show you. That's my charger cord. It's charging. You need to cut the... So I just see your headphones. An old pair of headphones, you need to cut this bit off. So cut it from, like, here. From the very bottom. So chop that off. And you're low, low key. You're just left with the silver bit and the little black bit so you can hold it. And all you want to do is you just want to pop it into the headphone jack and it will silence your phone out. Now, people with an iPhone 7, this may not work for you just because there is no headphone jack. Uh, school hack number three. Now, in class, you um, aren't allowed to eat. I know that I wasn't allowed to eat in class. And my lunch breaks were only like half an hour long and intervals were only like 10 minutes. So there's not really enough time to go to the cafeteria and get food. Um, so what I suggest you do, if you can, make something overnight. So like make a salad, don't put the dressing down, make the salad and put it in a resellable container or a Ziploc bag. And make up the dressing or put a dressing in a little container and stick there with it. And then once you're done, you can just tip the dressing in, zip the ziplock bag up or close the container and give it a shake and then you can eat it with like a plastic fork or something. Um, and that's like a quick easy five minute thing. I know it's not really a hack but it worked for me all the time. Like I'd pre-make lunches the night before and then I could just grab and go. Hit four. 
this is a night before thing again um my students tend to sleep through their alarms if not all students do so and you don't really want to fluff around in the morning getting an outfit ready if you don't have a uniform so what you want to do is you want to pick the outfit the night before and lay it out on say a table or put it on a coat hanger or lay it over your desk or put it in the bathroom where you go to take a shower in the morning if you if you have time if you don't have time you take a shower at night this will save you girls and sometimes boys at least half an hour in the morning it took me half an hour to 40 minutes to get just get dressed See you all next week um if you guys want to shout it in next week's video what i want you to do this week is leave the words uh, leave something about school in the dis in the comments below so leave something about school down there um and you'll get a shout out in next week's video bye guys